everyone. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope you're safe and sound as per usual. Espero que se encuentren muy bien de salud. Es un placer verlos a todos. All right. I'm so happy to be here. Estoy muy contenta de poder estar aquí nuevamente con ustedes. I hope you rest. Espero que hayan descansado a lot. Because now we have the whole week, right? Vamos con la semana corrida, so let's get this party started. Let's check. Today is Monday, May 2nd, 2023. Whose jeans are these? Class number nine, beginners one. Let me start with you with the following. Do you remember? So even though you were on vacation, all right, I understand that, Aun cuando tuvimos un día de vacation, espero yo que hayan visto en algún momento la platform para practicar or even eh, your notebook. If by any chances you have something on your notebook. O si tal vez vieron en su cuaderno, ¿verdad? Este, something over there. So let's check. Eh, number one, mention at least three, active, three, three adjectives. All right. So let me listen to Jancy Valle. Tell me, Jancy, which are three adjectives that you recall? I know you have your microphone open, but we can hear you. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, repeat, please. <laughs> sorry, I didn't listen. Good. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not paying attention, but uh, is is repeat, um, please. What do you need, need sure. to Sure, I here? need you to mention at least three objectives. Um, the last class. Yeah, from the last class, exactly. Okay. The objective describe uh, the nouns. Number one. Three objectives. Tres adjetivos, James. Okay. Let me check. Okay. Um, handsome? Uh -huh. Yes. This is number one. Uh, very pretty. Oh, for example, short. All right, very good, very pretty, short, handsome. Thank you, Jancy. Those are correct. Okay. Let's go with, <clears throat> let me check. Manuel Hernandez. Tell me, Manuel, what are adjectives? ¿Qué son los adjetivos? En español. <laughs> no, in English. Uh... We saw it. Lo vimos la clase pasada. The adjectives son description for people. All right, adjectives. Uh -huh. Very good, very good. Adjectives are used uh -huh. to describe. Right, very good. Adjectives are uh, used to describe. I am, uh, I am serious. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you, Manuel, thank you. All right, como mencionó su compañero, right? Adjectives are used to describe. It could be a person or either an object, okay? So let's check. <clears throat> Give me one example of a sentence using adjectives. Let me listen to Kevin Daniel. Tell me one example, Kevin, please. Okay. Uh, Hello. Hi there. Um, in my room is getting getting very hot. All right, very good. So the adjective is hot. Thank you. My room is getting very hot. That's correct. Thanks. All right. I think it's that true. with this, sorry. It's true. <laughs> is it true? You don't have fun? No tiene un ventilador? You don't have fun? Yes, but um, doesn't work. Uh, it, it's not enough. No es lo suficiente. It's not enough. Uh, okay, got it. Don't worry. I have mine over here too. 
yeah, it's not working. Yeah, actually the day has been pretty, pretty hot, right? So yeah. Everyone, let's check. I think that with this, we have pretty covered the topic of adjectives, all right? Creo que ahorita tenemos super cubierto el tema de adjectives. If there's someone who has any question related to adjectives and its use, let me know. Si hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta en relación a los adjetivos o cómo se utilizan, háganme saber ahorita. Porque vamos a pasar a la practice y no quiero que haya gente perdida, right? So you might ask me right now. Así que me pueden preguntar. Do you have any questions? Looks like everything is pretty clear. Unos unos denos unos ejemplos de, de adjetivos. All right. Handsome, pretty, tall, short, chubby. Um, actually, Kevin mentioned one, hot. También los climas también pueden ser adjectives, all right? Hot, eh, cold, funny, serious, angry. Adjectives work the same as in English as is in Spanish, right? Los adjetivos funcionan igual que en español, funcionan en inglés. Son todas aquellas palabras que describen. Serio, alto, pequeño, gordito. En inglés, bueno, ustedes en la picture que vieron en la clase pasada, that I should be the one asking you for the examples. Yo debería ser la que les esté preguntando los examples, all right? Vieron um, a little shabby, uh, no, a little heavy, creo que vieron uno, right? Eh, un poquito pesadita, right? También se les puede decir shabby, que es una manera más... Eh, ¿Cómo? All right. Chavi es una persona rellenita. Another one. Um, angry. Uh, what else? Excited. All those are adjectives. So, if you don't have any other question or further questions, let's move on to this. Let me have... Mario Molina, can you please read the information adjectives? Um, adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronounce all green and cheerful are example of adjectives. It might be useful to think of adjectives as describing words. Repeat, describing words. Des, de, describing words. Perfect, Mario. Thank you so much. Muy buena lectura. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, vean este ejemplo. Old, que significa viejo, es un adjective. New, puede ser un adjective. New, que significa nuevo. Eh, clean, que significa limpio, es un adjective. Dirty, que significa sucia, es un adjective. All right? También los colores. Miren el ejemplo. Green, blue, purple, white, black, uh, brown, right? dark brown, black. Okay? All those are adjectives too. Eh, cheerful. Cheerful es una persona que alienta a todos los demás, right? Le echa porras, como decimos en el salvadoreño, right? Eh, for example, um, un ejemplo de eso sería, Miguel is a cheerful person, right? Even though English might be difficult for him. Miguel es una persona positiva, o sea, él siempre está bien alerta, bien alegre. A pesar de que el inglés puede ser difícil para él, right? Miguel is a cheerful person, even though English might be difficult for him. Okay? So, without being said, habiendo dicho eso, let's move on to adjectives. This is a practice for you. Esta es una práctica que la tenemos que completar. So, we have write the adjectives which best describes the picture on the lines below. In the chart, you have the next adjectives. Veamos, eh, Miguel, léame los adjectives que tenemos en el chart, en el cuadrito. Okay. Being, clean, new, old, long, small, cute, dirt, short, fat. Repeat, dirty. Dirty. 
Yes, very good. Yeah. Entonces tenemos big, que es grande, tenemos clean, que es limpio, tenemos new, que es nuevo, tenemos old, que es viejo, tenemos long, que es largo, tenemos small, que es corto, tenemos cute, que es cariñoso, right? eh, o tierno, perdón, cute es tierno, dirty, que significa sucio, short, que es pequeño, y fat, que es corto. You have the nouns, tienen los nouns ahí, all right, tenemos t-shirt, eh, de nuevo t-shirt, hair, hair, house, house, car, car, rabbit, cat. Let's work on it. Pongámosle el adjetivo que más sea coherente para la picture que tenemos. Finish. Perfect. A preguntarle si va. Just about to ask. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. Let's check. All right, everyone. Let's go. Let me listen to the first t-shirt. What do you have for the first teacher? No, t-shirt. Uh, Kevin Rivera. Dirty t-shirt. That's correct. It's a dirty t-shirt. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with the second one. Um... Kevin Alexander, please. Do we have Kevin Deras in here? Clean teacher. Clean teacher. Yes, perfect. Very good. Perfect. Let's go with the next one. Ah, uh, hair, the first hair. Oh. Let me listen to Sandra Avalos. What you got for the first one? Um, small. Right. Small eh, solo aplica para objects. Uh, okay. Short. Yes, short hair. Short hair. Okay. Eh, Luis Rivas. 
the next one. Long hair. That's correct. Thank you. Gen C Valle, the house. Okay, let me see. Um, mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I unmuted. Can you repeat it again? Uh -oh. Okay, let me see. Um, maybe old house. Old house. All right. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's go with Lisette Rodriguez. Halloween. New house. Perfect. Thank you. Carlos Salvador. First car. A small car. Yes. Very good. Manuel Campos. Second car. A big car. That's correct. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, let me listen to Miguel. Rabbit. Cute. Rabbit. Yes, that's correct. And the last one, um, Manuel Hernandez, the last one. Cat. Fat, fat cat. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, y'all. Very good job with these adjectives. Let's go to the next one. Nos vamos a la siguiente, okay? So let me... Adjectives describe a person, place, or a thing. For example, the green grass is growing, right? Aparte de ser una oración, también parece un trabalengua, tongue twister. Trabalengua en inglés se dice tongue twister. The green grass is growing, okay? So, la grama verde está creciendo. The green grass is growing. The word green is an adjective, right? La palabra green se convierte en adjective. Select an adjective from the word bank to complete a sentence below. Veamos qué adjectives tenemos en el word bank. Vamos a pedirle a Luis Rivas. Léame los adjectives que tenemos en el word bank. Word bank, footballs, clouds, clever, beige, escape, funny. Repeat after me, purple. Purple. Loud. Purple. Loud. Clever. Loud. Clever. Brave. Clever. Brave. Excellent. Thank you, Luis. Only those. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay, let's start working on it. Voy a cambiar la. Voy a hacer un poquito más grande esta image. There you go. These are the sentences. Estas son las oraciones. Los van a trabajar con este World Bank. Okay.
Okay, how many of you have finished already? Hello? Okay, let's get started. That means that you have finished. So number one, the. Let's listen to Mario Molina. What do you have for number one, Mario? Uh, the brave fireman res rescue the cat from and uh, no miro <laughs> Maya from the tree. Okay, the cat from tree. Okay, repeat after me. Brave the brave. The brave fireman res rescue the cat from the tree. That's oh. perfect. Thank you. That's correct. Lizeth Rodriguez, number two. <clears throat> My friends and I. My friends and I are going to the watch a scary movie. Okay, repeat that again, please. My friends and I are going to the watch a scary movie. ¿Por qué me puso the watch si no hay de aquí? Por eso le, le pedí que me repitiera dos veces. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. My friends and I are going to watch. My friends, my friends and I are going to watch a scary movie. Perfect. Excellent. You said thank you so much. Number three, Jensi. Let me listen what you got. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. To read, uh, my friend like to read, um, to read, maybe funny books about fighters? Fairies. Sorry? Fairies. Fairies? fairies. Uh, yes, fairies. How's the meaning fairies? Uh, Adas. Sure. Yes. My friend likes to read. Funny books about fairies. Very good, excellent, Jancy, that's correct. <clears throat> Let's go with mom and dad. What about Manuel Campos? Tell me, what you got from the mom and dad? I'm sorry, but I'm not finished. ¿Por cuál va? En justo en esa. All right, intente entonces. Our <laughs> mom, mom, mom and dad are going out for a hay un adjective que se repite dos veces alright let's check thank you let's go with <laughs> thank you man what about Daniel Rivera? What you got for that one? My mom and dad, no. Mom and dad are going out for a? Mom and dad are going out for a funny dinner. That's correct. That's the adjective that it repeats. All right? That's correct. Thank you. For a funny dinner. Una cena divertida, right? Or, let's check. Luis Rivas, R. Luis, your microphone. Manuel Hernández, our. Our clever teachers who gave us homework. Repeat, gave us. Gave us. Yes, gave us homework. Very good, excellent. Gave us. Yes, great job, Mr. Hernandez. My, Carlos Salvador, my. <clears throat> my purple. Mm -hmm. My purple sock uh, has a hole in it. Yes, that's correct. My purple sock has a hole in it. 
let's go with the next one. And uh, that one is going to be for Sandra Avalos. Das. Das. Loud music hurt your ears? Perfect, thank you. Does loud music hurt your ears? That's correct. Congratulations, everyone. Perfect. I'm going to share with you the platform. Vamos a ir a la plataforma, okay? We're going to watch this video. Let's pay attention on it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learned clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Jeans. Gloves. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, let's work to the PowerPoint. I have the vocabulary here. So we have uh, clothes for work and clothes for leisure. Leisure is actividad de ocio, right? Let me take out my magic wand. So le voy a sacar mi, mi magic wand. Mi varita magic, okay? We have t-shirt, perdón, tenemos shirt, shirt, all right? Shirt es camisa formal, puede aplicar en hombre o puede aplicar en mujer. Tie, tie. Belt, belt. Jacket, jacket. Pants, pants. Together, juntos, they make a suit, suit, right? Juntos hacen un traje, suit. Coat, coat. Shoes, shoes. Raincoat, raincoat. Blouse, blouse. Scarf, scarf. Skirt, skirt. High heels, high heels. Dress, dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat, hat. Sweater, sweater. Gloves, gloves. Boots, boots. No me vayan a decir bots ni gloves. Aquí es gloves, boots. Boots, pijamas, pijamas, t-shirt, t-shirt, cup, cup, shorts, shorts, socks, socks, sneakers, sneakers, swimsuits, swimsuits. Okay, listen up. Just as a reference. Solo como referencia. Para que sepa en español, muchas veces yo he escuchado personas que dicen chores. All right? Cuando quieran utilizar el plural, utilicen shorts. Okay? No digan chores, because that doesn't exist. It's shorts. Okay? 
So let's work on it. Let me listen to, <clears throat> vamos con uh, David Rosales, please. Tell me the clothes for work. Me dice el vocabulario de ropa para trabajo. Okay, um, shirt, tie, belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, skirt, skirt, high heels, dress, raincoat. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with Mario Molina, clothes for leisure. Uh, hat, sweater. Sweater. Sweater, okay. Gloves, boots, jeans, t-shirt, t-shirt, cap, short, socks, sneakers. Uh, pajamas, swim suit. Mm, swim suit. Swim suit. Yes, perfect, thank you. Let's go with Manuel Campos, clothes for work. Shirt, tie, belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high hairs, raincoat, dress. Perfect, excellent, thank you, Manuel. Let's go with Lisette Rodriguez, clothes for leisure. After Lisette, después de Lisette, va Luis Rivas con clothes for work. Action, Lisette. Boots. Clover. ¿Qué pasó ahí, Lisette? Sorry, que está fallando la energía ahorita. Gloves. Yes, gloves. Eh, sweater. Jeans. Boots. T-shirt, cat, short, sock, sneaker. Repeat, Pijama. sneakers. Tienen S, Lizette. Sneakers. Es, sneakers, pijamas, swings, swimsuit. Yes, perfect, swimsuits. <laughs> Action, Luis Rivas. Those for work. Le podría, le piensa que casi no distingo las letras. Podría darle un poquito más de zoom. Ok, let me make it bigger for you. Mm, wait. That's all I can give. Can you? Sí, ¿Sí se puede okay. ahora? Sí, un poquito, sí. Shield, ties, set, jacket, treats, shoes, no sé si se le fue el audio o. No, no, fíjese que es que veo bien empañado la, la, las letras. Don't worry, no se preocupe entonces, repita después de mí. Jacket. Jacket. Hands. Hands. Suit. Suit. Shoes. Shoes. Coat. Raincoat. Raincoat. Dress. Dress. High heels. High heels. No, high heels. I use skirt. Shirt. No, skirt. Shirt. No, lleva acá, Luis. Skirt. Skirt. Ajá, perfecto. Ahí está perfecto. Scarf. Scarf. Blouse. Blouse. Thank you. Let's go with. Gracias. Gracias. 
You're welcome, a pleasure. Let's go with William Castro, close for leisure, please. Hello, good night. Hi, good Hi. evening. Gloves, boots, sweater, jeans, pajamas, t-shirt. Repeat pajamas. Ah, sorry, pajamas, t-shirt, shirts, socks, sneakers, swimsuits. Very good, no. excellent. Uh, cap, huh? cap. <laughs> oh, cap, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt <laughs> you. All right, perfect, thank you. Now let's go with Jensi Valle, clothes for work, please. And after Jensi, uh, Daniel Rivera, clothes for leisure, action. Shirt, tight, blouse, scarf, belt, skirt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, raincoat, dress, high heels. Um, okay, repeat. This is all. Set. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Jensi. That's correct. Let's go, Daniel Rivera. <clears throat> mm, hat, sweater, gloves, jeans, boots, t shirt, cap, short, socks, and pajamas, swimsuits. Repeat swimsuits. Swimsuits. Yes. All right, excellent. Thank you, Daniel. And let's go with the next one, the last one. Sandra Avalos, clothes for work, please. Shirt, tie, belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, Blows, skirt, skirt, high health, dress, raincoat. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Repeat after me. Suit. Suit. Thank you. All right, listen up, everyone. Voy a repetir esto y, y voy a explicar por qué no podemos decir sweet. Sweet significa dulce. Entonces, si yo digo jacket, pants, sweet, si yo digo eh, chaqueta, pantalones, dulce, makes no sense, all right? No tendría sentido. Entonces, lo correcto es suit. Inclusive es más fácil para ustedes porque no tienen que repetir todas las letras. Suit. Jacket plus pants, suit. Swim, suit. All right? Simple as that. You don't need to complicate. No tenemos que complicarnos mucho el momento de pronunciar. Now, without being said, I'm going to take the attendance. Yo creo que a esta hora ya la mayoría entró a la clase, así que I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. So, let me check. Martes O2. Beatriz Adriana, she's not in here. Carlos Salvador Velázquez. Present. Evelyn Mercedes Flores. Freddy Sebastián Franco. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Meléndez. David Rosales. Present. Jose Mario Molina. I'm here. Karen Osorio. Kevin Alexander Batres. Present. 
Kevin Antonio Chicas Veras. Kevin Daniel Rivera. Present. Kevin Ernesto García. Luis Alfonso Rivas. Present. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel de Jesús Campos Beltrán. Present. Ah, ok. Perfecto. I'm used to see Manuel de Jesús. Es me acostumbré a ver Manuel de Jesús, pero ya veo que ustedes en el mismo campo. I always get confused. I'm sorry. Don't yes. worry, no se preocupe. Es mejor que ponga así un, un nombre y un apellido. Así me acostumbro a ver el apellido. Yes. Yo al final del curso no me acostumbré a ver el apellido. Let's check. Eh, Marlene Lisette Rodríguez. Present. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Miguel Ángel Galán. Present. Sandra Beatriz Ábalos. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Castro Figueroa. Present. Jensi Asensio Valle. I'm here. There you go. Thank you so much. Now let's continue with the next one, please. So. I have a question. Tell me. On the second box, um, I think that um the shoes the shoes that the guy mm -hmm. the, the worries sneakers but i see that this maybe ten issues no maybe what ten issues tennis yes no yeah it could be tennis but remember that well actually sneakers are like the there's a sneak the next sneaker about me is um when I uh, when I dress um uh, formal for example uh, formal like shoes casual. sneakers ah. are casual yeah but the figure is is something um, that tiny shoes <laughs> this is what tennis? I come I'm coming now no it's okay Jensi actually yes you're right tennis is for sports all right. When you step at gym, when you go, uh, when you want to play, I don't know, football or something else, you wear tennis. And when you want to go casual, you wear sneakers. Yes, yes. I understand. Very good. Thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate it. Now, let's check the practice time. What do you wear for work? All right. For work, I wear. Así iniciaríamos. For work, I wear. What do you wear on your weekends? On weekends, I wear. All right. Weekends, fin de semana. Okay. So let's check. Um, let me start. <clears throat> I'm going to give you two minutes. No, one minute. Un minuto creo que sería suficiente, right? So you can complete the sentence. Así pueden crear sus dos oraciones. For work, I wear. Y on weekends I wear, porque voy a empezar a preguntarles. For example, if they ask me, I might say, for work I wear a, a jacket, pants, which is a suit, um, high heels, and sometimes a scarf, right? That's in my case. So you can do it based on your own.
Ok, so let's get started. Vaya, la primera persona que va a pasar, yo le voy a hacer las preguntas. I'm going to ask. But then, just to give an example, right? Solo para darles el ejemplo. Luego voy a ponerlos a preguntar y ustedes van a escoger a quiénes le van a preguntar. So, do I have any volunteers to work with me? ¿Tengo algún voluntario para que responda las preguntas que yo voy a hacer? Me. Perfect. Who is me? ¿Quién es me? William. William. Okay, perfect. What do you wear for work, William? <laughs> for work, I wear t-shirt, jeans, and boots. Great. Uh, what do you wear on your weekends? Well, on weekends, I wear a t-shirt, shirts, and sneakers. Perfect. Thank you so much, William. Now, select the, select the next pair, William. Seleccione la siguiente pareja, please. ¿Quién va a preguntar y quién va a responder? Who is going to ask and who is going to answer? Um, let me see. Uh, Manuel Campos ask and Miguel Ángel Galán uh, answer. answer. Very good. Action, Manuel. Hey. Miguel Ángel, what do you wear for what do you wear for words? Uh, shirt. Uh, shoes. Um, let's let's pants. follow the structure. Sigamos la estructura, Miguel. For work, I wear. For work, I wear. A shirt, shoes, jeans. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. And what do you wear on your weekends? On weekends, I wear cap, t-shirt, shorts. Sneakers. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Miguel, you ask Manuel, please. Usted pregunta, Miguel. Ahora le pregunto a usted a Manuel. Okay. Manuel, for what I wear? Mm, Miguel. For, for. What do you wear for work? What? Ah, perdón, perdón. What do you... What do you wear for work? For work, I wear a shirt and uh, a belt, a pants, and shoes without tie. Okay. What do you wear on your weekends? On weekends, I wear shirt, shorts, and sneakers. Perfect, excellent. Okay. Thank you, both of you. Great job, simple as that, right? Una pregunta súper sencilla y una respuesta súper sencilla, right? Que de hecho, este tipo de preguntas pueden abrir a una major conversation, all right? A una conversación mayor. For example, why do you wear caps on weekends? ¿Por qué utilizas eh, gorras el fin de semana? Oh, because I don't like the sun. I don't like the sun to hit my face. No me gusta que el sol golpee mi cara, right? So I wear it as I wear it as a protection, right? Así que por siempre que parezca este activity, este exercise, it works. Sí vale la pena, all right? So let's check. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Sandra Ábalos, you ask. Eh, Daniel Rivera, you answer. Action. Daniel, what do you wear for work? Your microphone, Danny. For work, I wear t-shirts, jeans, and boots, and a smartwatch for calls. Okay. What do you wear on your weekends? Uh, on weekends, I wear a t-shirt, shirt, and sandals. Good, excellent. Thank you. Just, uh, Daniel, remember, boots, all right? Botas, boots. 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 Yes. Yeah. Ahora usted pregunta. Now you ask and Sandra answers. Okay. What do you do? Uh, what do you wear for work, uh, Sandra? Uh, for work, I wear shirts and jeans and shoes. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you wear on your weekends? Um, on weekends, I wear t-shirts, 
jeans and tennis or sneakers. Perfect, nailed it. Thank you, both of you. Now let's check. Uh, this is usually like a short conversation that you own created, right? Es una pequeña conversación que, usted, que ustedes mismos crean, ¿ok? Usualmente cuando alguien nos pregunta, how are you? Y contestamos, I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? All right? Y hacemos la misma pregunta a la otra persona porque queremos saber la respuesta. Lo mismo funciona. Así es como se hace una conversación, all right? We're not just only talking about us. We're talking about the other person too. All right. Now, let me ask. Voy a preguntarles algo. Do you have any questions about section four? ¿Tenemos alguna duda o consulta de la sección cuatro? Yo no he visto que hayan mandado anuncio todavía a, al grupo right, de ustedes eh, pidiéndoles que por favor trabajen en la plataforma. Y creo que hasta cierto punto eso, eso es algo bueno porque significa que están trabajando en ella. Pero espero que ya todos hayan finalizado la sección C, que it was the one from last week, que era la que pertenecía la semana pasada. Esta semana, si ustedes ya van avanzando con section 4, great, excellent. Si no, pues los animo a que lo hagan a, desde ahorita, right? If you are having dinner, si van a tener una cenita, all right? Then work at the same time if you want, or after dinner, you can work on the platform so that you are not staying behind. Así no se van quedando atrás, okay? So, tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. Okay, let me share it with you. Colors, okay? Mañana vamos a continuar con este topic. Colors, and uh, we're talking about warm colors and, yeah, warm colors and cold colors, okay? So please take into consideration that you can practice first the vocabulary. Así que pueden practicar desde ahora en la noche el vocabulary. Pues mañana solo vamos a poner el video y lo voy a decir yo y luego van ustedes. So that we're not wasting too much time. Así no... No nos alargamos mucho en el vocabulary, okay? Without being said, my dear students, habiendo dicho eso, it was a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Tenemos dudas, consultas, preguntas? Not too sure. Okay. If everything is perfectly clear, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, take care. Bye. See ya. See ya around. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.